Brad and welcome to another installment of Backtrack. If you recognize some of the scenery, you'll know where we are. We are back at Tanganyika Wildlife Park. So something that kind of was being built when I worked here last summer was these cables on the fence. You know, it's just keep people from climbing in and messing with the animals. Okay, see, so I don't know how much you're gonna see my face in this video. Just because I kind of messed up with my cameras, I can't exactly turn my camera around and I forgot to bring my phone. So yeah, but in this video we're mainly just going to be checking up on Tanganyika and seeing how much has changed since we last were here. One thing that has definitely changed is uh, these habitats right here. Uh, they used to both be for Debraza's monkeys, but now this one has a small group of the Javan Langer. So we'll see if the main big group is. Um, we'll see if they're still where they were last time. Or maybe it's like a splinter group, so... We'll see. So these wires are definitely new. And obviously, like I said, it's to keep people from climbing into where like they shouldn't supposed to. Almost looks like, almost reminds me of like a miniature Jurassic Park with like the electrical wire. Well, the langurs are right where they were before. Seems that there's a lot more uh, darker gray ones than last time. So, one of the main reasons I also came here was because if you keep up with my DVD Double NB series, you'll know that there is a uh, baby rhino born at the at Tanganyika. So, I don't know if uh, we get to see if that open door is any indication, but we'll see. We'll see as the day goes on. Also, I'm just noticing that they put up these uh, wires here so the baby doesn't run through the um, bars. This is where they usually have their rhino feeding. So, yeah. Doesn't look like they'll be having any rhino feedings anytime soon. I'll tell you one thing that is definitely new. That uh, picture right there of the camera, that was not there last time I came here. It's all new, brand new, never before seen picture.
one thing they did they added less trees and uh, some more little cabins some more hiding areas for the snow leopards so well, let's see their cheetahs looks like they separated that no they didn't separate the habitat but if you remember from last time oh here's one so this is where they keep their uh, cheetah cubs here's one really close to the fence look. Hi there, buddy. Oh, he's got a buddy over there sleeping. Yeah, this is this is all the more reason to have. Okay, okay, I'm backing up. Yeah, I don't know if you saw that, he was hissing at me, so. If ever that happens, I recommend just giving them their space. Like, of course, to the cheetahs, you know, this is stranger danger. So, just leave them be. But yeah, this is where they keep their younger cheetahs there uh, but yeah and like I said all the more reason to have the uh, have the cables here Well, there was a tree here last time. Uh, last time I was here, not anymore. But good to see that the um, grevy zebra are all still in good health. It seems. And here's uh, another thing that's changed is Grace and the White Tiger. I, I think I've featured him on the channel before, but he's gotten bigger, as kids do. One thing I've noticed is that they also have these QR codes. Uh, so, uh, if you remember, Tanganyika does a lot of the animal experiences. I don't know what I'm pointing at. There's no uh, porcupines that I can see. But anyways, Tanganyika does the experiences. So, if you want to see um, some of these, it's providing an easier opportunity to sign up.
with that, I think we're done here. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing to the channel, as well as following me on my other social media platforms. The link tree is in the description below. I thank you all for watching, and remember, always be prepared, do good daily, and love nature. For your life is a canvas, and you have the brush. Auf Wiedersehen!